today I want to share with you my first time ever serving. So if you're thinking of serving and you've never done it before, you're wondering where you should go to try serving for the first time. Serving has always been a dream of mine, but every time I look at like serving lessons, they're always really, really expensive. When Bay and I decided to go to Mexico, I was looking into like serving courses because I figured this will be the place where it's cheaper. So I was looking around and I found this place, two person private class, was only a hundred US and you're like a hundred US that's a lot of money if you look into like serving classes elsewhere it's way more expensive we decided to go to a place called Sayulita or Bay calls it Sayulita I don't know whether it's Sayulita or Sayulita Sayulita is an hour and a half bus ride away from Puerto Fallada because we live in the central historic area of Puerto Fallada we need to take a bus to a Walmart and from there you can take a bus to Sayulita. Uh, those buses are not coach bus. You pay 40 peso and then you get to this little town. I think it's a surf town. I see more white people there than in Puerto Fallada, which is amazing. The town is probably like 30 minute walk max. It's very local. The beach is amazing. Beginning servers because the waves are just right. I realized was how heavy the surfboard was. After taking surfing classes, I've been looking into like different types of surfboard. So the one they suggested was longboard to start surfing. And longboard, or as you can tell, is really long. It was like this tall, maybe? It was, yeah, it was quite taller than me. The guy was like, if it's too heavy, you can carry it on your head. But I was like, no, this looks kind of silly. So I decided, I, I was so determined to like like, you know, hold it on my arms. I swear every like minute or so, I like drop the longboard down and I like catch some air because it was actually really heavy. See, Sayulita is a very, very cute little town with a lot of character. I don't know why they like hanging these cut handkerchiefs on the street in between buildings, but it's definitely adding into this vibrant kind of vibe. So after serving, the serving coach us to play a place to get very good taco. He also suggested us to try this new Mexican drink called michelada. Crispy already had michelada, so he didn't really need to try it. And he was like, yeah, if you want it, go try it. So I ordered this michelada. It was very interesting. It tastes very Mexican, first of all. Just saying like, oh, it's a Mexican drink. It tastes Mexican. No, like the spices they're using is very Mexican. It's kind of remind you of taco, but is beer. My friend Brandon had it as well. We literally had the same reaction. Like, it's not a bad reaction. It's not a good reaction. It's like a, we, we drink it and we're like, hmm, it's interesting. We both come to the conclusion that we don't love it, but we don't hate it. At the same time, we don't want to drink it all. It's like, it's weird. I mean, if it's very, very popular among locals, then I'm sure there's, it appeals to people, some people at least. Okay. You guys want to move that table a little bit? Yeah. Okay. 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 Ok
Hey guys, um, I'm trying a new Mexican drink. It's called. Uh, Me neither. So I'm making you do it. They're playing Despacito again. Are you very sick of song? It's just like top of So after a long day and serving in Sayulita, uh, we took the bus back to Puerto Fayara. Finally got back to Nira Hotel. It's actually very late already. I just want to share with you my go-to place. So I lived in Puerto Fayara for a week. When you live in somewhere, you start going to the same restaurant or same place to get grocery and stuff like that. There's this place that sells quesadilla. It's really awesome. They make the dough fresh and everything fresh in the store. And it's amazing how like they have these hot plate and there's like carbon I think at the bottom that heat heated up. They flip it by hand and I think that is crazy. The funny thing is it's my last day in Puerto Fayara. I went there and the people there finally start to recognize me. I remember ordering quesadillas and they were like, oh is it to here to go? They don't speak any English so for the first time I guess I, I replied to go in Spanish to them and they were like it's so happy they like gave me high five they cheer and um, they were just like so happy it's like yes this girl finally know how to like reply us and, and i think that's funny and it's a cute little last memory of this little place hey um we switch rooms again this is actually the most expensive room but also the tiniest because it's uh, a long weekend in mexico i'm showing you this not because I want to show you the room. I want to show you the result of not listening to your girlfriend. Crispy, are you in pain? No. Yes, you are. I'm going to slap your legs. <laughs> Can I do it? Can I touch it? <laughs> do you guys see how bad this is? Can I touch it? Like, how much does it hurt? Doesn't hurt. Mm. Oh, it does hurt. You're such a liar. <laughs> and he has like the weirdest spot. Oh shit! I like yanked it too far. <laughs> Look at this. This is the the gap between his t-shirt and his pants. He's gonna have like just like a strip of like. Darker skin. <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Please also check out my travel vlogs and yada yada yada. Always like to say yada yada yada. And I will see you next Thursday.